Tetanus is often thought of as occurring only because of stepping on a rusty nail or being bitten by a dog. But actually, tetanus bacteria can infect the body through any open wound, especially deep, penetrating ones. Hi, I'm Dr. Ellen Nagami, and I'm an infectious diseases doctor at Brigham and Women's Hospital. So what is tetanus? Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a sometimes fatal disease of the central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord. The bacteria usually enters the body through an open wound. Tetanus bacteria live in soil and manure. They can also be found in the human intestine and other places. So what causes tetanus? It's caused by a poison or toxin made by tetanus bacteria. It's not spread from person to person. It occurs in people who have had a skin or deep tissue wound or puncture. In developing countries, tetanus in newborns can be seen as a result of improper care of the umbilical stump, particularly when mothers are not immunized. After a person is exposed to tetanus, it may take 3 to 21 days to develop symptoms. On average, symptoms appear around day 8. In infants, symptoms may take from 3 days to 2 weeks to develop. The most common symptoms of tetanus are stiff abdominal and back muscles, contraction of the facial muscles, fast pulse, fever, sweating, painful muscle spasms, especially near the wound area. If these affect the throat or chest wall, breathing may be compromised. Trouble swallowing. These symptoms may look like other health problems, so always see your healthcare provider for a diagnosis. Let's talk about tetanus diagnosis and treatment. Treatment for tetanus may include thoroughly cleaning the wound, medicines to control spasms, antitoxin injections, use of a ventilator breathing machine if you have trouble breathing on your own, antibiotics, other medicines to control pain and other symptoms such as fast heartbeat. The best way to avoid tetanus is prevention and the best way to prevent tetanus is to get the vaccine. There are several kinds of tetanus vaccines. Adults should get a tetanus or TD booster every 10 years, but it can be given before the 10-year mark. Also, for each pregnancy, mothers should receive the vaccine. The DTaP tetanus shot is a combination vaccine that protects against three diseases, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. The CDC recommends that children receive five DTaP vaccines between the ages of two months and six years. Always see your healthcare provider for advice. The good news is tetanus has become very uncommon in the US due to widespread vaccination. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Ellen Nagami. For more vaccination videos, click here and don't forget to subscribe here.